Hello, welcome back. It's Lucy from Nanny Buttons Craft. Thank you for joining me today on Friday. Um, we are looking at organize, different ways of organising. I'm sorry that I haven't got this in the frame as much as I would like, but I saw somebody do something very similar um, and I just thought, oh, I wonder if that would work. Dye storage, to me, is a bit of a pain and I have to keep my crafts in a cupboard. Um, but I, if you don't see it, you don't use it, and if it isn't easily accessible, that becomes a bit of a problem. So let's just show you what this is. Okay, it's a shoebox. And I'm sorry I don't have another one, so I can't show you exactly how I've used it. Um, but I'll try and show you what my thinking was. So this is the lid, and I've just cut chunks into it. Um, I've cut the front bit off and then I've cut this in the top, the very top piece. I've just cut it into different ways and uh, I think I can get it out and kind of slotted it. I don't know if that makes sense. My thinking was, I don't have loads of dies. Um, I know that some of you have absolutely hundreds. But to have this on a shelf and I can just flick through made so much sense to me. So I've got my dies here. These are the ones that are in the really nice, like Stampin' Up and Sizzix, um, right. Sizzix folders. So that makes them really easy to just thumb through. And then I've got these CD cases with a small magnetic piece behind, which kind of works okay. It's better than nothing. Um, and then I've got, I've done the same thing again, the X cut these ones with the um, layering dies they do actually fit quite well into the CD I didn't have to cut it or anything it just fits in and they're, they're magnetic so that's another thing they should hold um, I did cut that one to make it smaller some freebie ones so these are these are just here so that I can just thumb through them and that makes that really easy to get and then I did the same with my embossing folders they're just here again as I don't have that many this works for me if you've got hundreds it might not work for you um, and then these ones at the back are stamps and dies that match like ones from the free magazines and stuff and a few other ones and then I just this little box is actually from uh, Pootles I'll put a link in the um, in below for this one um, and I think she did originally design this to go with these, but Stampin' Up! don't do those anymore. But that just, I just managed to squish that in the side. So it's all here, and this lives on my shelf, and I can just whiz through it and see what I've got. So if you don't have hundreds and hundreds of dies, um, this could work. But even if you did have a lot of dies, if you just have the storage space, you know, you could have a section for your... Um, Christmas dies, you could have a section for sentiments, um, and you can, because this is just cardboard, you can, you know, any big dies or big embossing folders, you'd be able to fit in here. And I was, I you can see I put a little bit of washi tape, I was going to like put something frilly on there or something to make it look really nice. I still might do that, and I might cover the insides as well. Um, but I just thought this was a great idea and you know if you're struggling with your dye storage then maybe something like this might work for you I don't know okay thanks for watching have a lovely weekend bye